Hey, my name's Chef Jeremiah with Blue Ocean Market. And due to the holidays coming up, we're gonna do some fun kind of sides that we can do with seafood from the market here. And one of the ones we came up with was a shrimp and clam stuffed acorn squash. So to prepare the acorn squash, you wanna cut the ends off so he'll sit flat for you. And then we're gonna cut it right down the middle. Please be careful doing this. And we really don't need the seeds, so we'll take them out. And you wanna try to do this without going through the bottom, but if you do, it's just fine. To season the acorn squash, we're gonna use a little bit of our lemon sea salt. Regular sea salt at home would work just fine. And really, anytime you're cooking winter squash, acorn, butternut, this will be a good combination of flavors to cook it with. Just a tiny little bit of cinnamon. Fairly good amount of granulated onion powder. And paprika for heat instead of cracked black pepper. And we'll put that on a sprayed pan into the oven for 45 minutes. It'll be almost done, but not completely done, leaving a little room to cook when we put our stuffing in there. So to make the stuffing for the acorn squash, we're gonna start with our aromatics. And you'll notice that a lot, you'll notice that a lot of what we're doing has the same start, onion, shallot, garlic. So as you're prepping your holiday meals, you can cut up a fairly good amount of onion, shallot, and garlic, and you don't have to do it over and over again. So this is just medium, medium low heat, and we're gonna sweat these aromatics down until they're nice and caramelized. Add in a little fresh oregano from the garden. Tear it a little bit just to bring those flavors out. So we'll cut some small cubes. Oh, roughly one cup of fresh bread cubes. Get that good crust in there. Everybody likes the good part. Alrighty. Our vegetables are starting to brown. We're gonna add one third of a pound of roughly chopped shrimp, one third of a pound of freshly shucked clams, A little bit of salt and pepper, as always. And we're gonna cook this just until the shrimp is done. And we'll finish with a little Worcestershire, lemon juice, white wine, and just a tiny bit of Frank's Red Hot. So our shrimp is almost done. We'll go ahead and deglaze with the white wine. 
turn our heat up. Just a dash, maybe a half teaspoon of Lian Perrins, another half teaspoon of lemon juice, and a quarter teaspoon of Frank's Red Hot. Just a little more wine. Then once that's done, we'll turn the heat off. Add a couple pats of butter. Melt that butter in real good. And then we'll add that into our breadcrumbs. And that is our shrimp and clam stuffing. And we're going to put that inside the acorn squash. Par baked our butternut squash, and we're going to go ahead and stuff it. You want a nice, generous portion heaping inside your cup. And we're going to actually cook these covered, foil covered, so we don't burn the top. And these are gonna cook for 45 minutes at 400 degrees, or until you reach an internal temperature of 160 with a thermometer. The thermometer won't lie, and I can never tell how somebody's oven is cooking at home, so it's always better to temp these things out. We'll wrap our acorns. Once again, 45 minutes into a 450 degree oven. Okay, so these are almost done and I've pulled the top and I've got some Gruyere. Now Gruyere is an aged Swiss. You could use whatever cheese you want. I would suggest something aged like a Parmigiano Reggiano, Gruyere, Fontina, and that's gonna give you a little salty crunch that wonderful cheesiness on top, and we'll just put them back in the oven for three to five minutes and let that brown on top. Ready? Oh, look at that Gruyere. We're gonna go ahead and get it on a plate. Get him out. So this is our finished butternut squash. Our Gruyere is nicely melted on top, and as you can see, it's done. Um, this should be suitable for serving two people if you wanted to cut it straight in half, it, possibly even three if they're a light eater. Uh, I did want to say a thank you to Merrill Farms, who's provided all the produce today. Joe Merrill's a great guy, and you can find him down at the Beaufort Farmer's Market on Saturdays. Um, and just enjoy, guys. It's a beautiful dish.